and he said yesterday uh he goes on tv and he says america is tired of draymond green he then proceeds to say shut up and play shut up and play will you please uh america's tired of draymond green i'm not one to really pull the race car very often um because i think you know we all know the role that race play in the world that we live in but that definitely had a very racist connotation. Those shut up and play, shut up and dribble days, those are long gone. We don't, we don't, we don't listen to that anymore. We don't want to hear it anymore. It has no place here and nor will it be tolerated. I also proceeded to say, it's time for you to go home and sit on your couch and be and thank the good Lord that I didn't want his job. I meant that from the bottom of my heart. Before I signed with Turner, I was actually offered <laughs> a spot on first take. The landscape of media is about to change. You will no longer be allowed to sit there and say what you want. You will no longer be allowed to put out these false narratives. You will no longer be able to allow to not know what you're talking about and we're going to listen to you. Those days are long gone. You know why? Because we have guys like J.J. Reddick who's done it, who speaks it, who knows how to, to speak on any different topic, who's not afraid to shut an idiot up. When I say sincerely yours, the new media, you will be held accountable. And you will have to know what you're talking about in order to speak on eSports. You will have to know what you're talking about in, able, in, in order to, to speak on this game of basketball. You know why? Because we're doing it now. And Draymond Green has officially announced the turn of the guard, okay? You know, even in the NBA, we're starting to see the Trey Youngs, the Lucas, the Tatums, and the John Morants take the spots of the Currys, the KDs, and the LeBrons, you know? We're starting to see that in, you know, we're actually starting to see that in the new media as well, you know? We're starting to see the young guys, the NBA players, you know, that's like, you know, 35, 36, 37 years old take the spots of, like, these analysts who's, you know, in their 70s and 60s, like Skip Bayless and, them and everything like that. They haven't pushed them up out the way yet, but you see it coming, okay? Everybody's gravitating towards J.J. Reddick, and that's actually what we're here to talk about right now. Um, Mad Dog on first take was recently telling Draymond Green, you know, he doesn't like hearing them talk, you know, shut up and dribble. And J.J. Reddick basically checked them on live television and everything like that, and people starting to gravitate towards J.J. Reddick and these, this right here that you're seeing right now is actually an old article from the Washington Post of Mad Dog saying some, you know, racial, like some racist stuff in the past and everything like that. Um, you guys can check that out. Um, you heard on first take uh, when, you know, when it was live and everything like that, Stephen A. didn't feel like Mad Dog had meant the shut up and dribble thing the way he had said it and everything like that. And uh, whether he meant it or not, you know, um, he has been saying some stuff that he needs to be a lot more careful with and a lot more careful with his words and everything like that. We've seen the same thing happen to Will Kane. I know Mad Dog is more comparable to Skip Bayless, and Skip Bayless is a guy that some people thought was racist, but, you know, over the years, we most, you know, we just kind of know, like, hey, that's just how Skip Bayless is, you know, that's just how he is and everything like that. So maybe it's one of those situations I'm taking it as, you know, you know, he's being racist and stuff like that, you know, because I don't really know him or, like, you know, seeing too much from him because I don't watch first take that much anymore. But, you know, somebody who watches Mad Dog a lot more often and everything like that might have, like, a totally different opinion than me. You know, like I said, like, um, I don't see too much of him, but uh, I remember when I had first seen Skip Bayless, I thought there was some racial undertone, and then, like, you just start watching him for a while and realize this, you know what I'm saying, you know, it wasn't racially motivated. He gives it up to black athletes and, you know, black people all the time. You know, it's just that you caught him on a bad day at a bad time saying the wrong thing. You know, different stuff like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and hope you have a great day.